Hey guys, welcome to Travel Related. Today we want to talk about a huge part of traveling abroad. Hostels. Hostels are one of the widest forms of accommodation used all over the world. And for good reason. They're cheap, they allow you to meet people, and they're common pretty much everywhere except for the US. I think Americans are skeptical of hostels because we just didn't grow up using them. We didn't know about them. A lot of people think they're dangerous or dirty, and with most hostels, that's just not the case. As long as you do your research, you can find some of the coolest places to stay all over the world. Staying in hostels was one of our favorite parts of traveling, and we wanna help you find the right one. Trey and I are very different, and that means we have different priorities when it comes to where we wanna stay. So we put together what we specifically look for when it comes to booking a hostel. There are countless options to choose from, so you have to figure out what works best for you. Everyone has different priorities. Here's ours. One of the first things I look for when I'm choosing a hostel is, does it have a common room? Common rooms are a great way to meet other travelers. A lot of times they'll have a big kitchen or a lot of tables where you can sit and talk to other people. I've met tons of people in common rooms. Because in hostels, you get to meet a lot of other travelers in your room, but with a common area, you can meet people from other rooms also. I've met lots of other travelers in common areas either cooking meals together or just sitting down having drinks before everybody heads out that night. It's a great way to meet people. The next thing I look for in hostels is, do they have friendly and knowledgeable staff? You can read the reviews on Hostel World and people talk about the staff a lot. This is a really big one because I've gotten so much priceless information from hostel staff. Often the staff at hostels are from the city where you're staying and they know lots of good places that they can point out on a map and show you where those hidden gems are or just where to get away from the crowd and get a more authentic experience. Another thing I always look for in hostels is do they have lockers? Now I should say that I've been amazed at how relaxed people are in hostels as far as leaving stuff out. You see people all the time go to take a shower and they leave their phone and their laptops or all kinds of stuff out just laying on their bed. And it's also worth mentioning that I've never had anything stolen in a hostel. But there's something about just having that peace of mind when you're out exploring, seeing the sights. The stuff that you don't need to take with you, you can just leave it locked up in your hostel and that's one less thing you have to worry about. So that's why lockers are really important to me. Another big factor I look for is, does the hostel offer organized group activities? This is a really cool one because some of the best hostels I've ever stayed in have like a nightly something. They have a way to kind of bring the community of the hostel together. They might have a spaghetti night or a vodka tasting night. It gives you an excuse to get out and meet the other people who are staying in your hostel. Lots of hostels also offer free walking tours. This is a big bonus. There will be a tour guide from the hostel staff that will take you around the city and show you some cool things. And although they are free, it's expected that you tip at the end. But free walking tours are another great way to meet the people that are staying in your hostel and to go see some cool stuff. Another thing to look for, what kind of rooms do they offer? Not all rooms and hostels are created equal. Some are big mixed dorms, which will be the cheapest. Some could be smaller mixed dorms, some could be female only, and some could be private rooms. So it kind of depends on your priorities. If you're a younger traveler on a budget, I would highly recommend staying in the large mixed dorms. They're gonna be the cheapest and you're gonna meet the most people. If you're a little older and you want the community aspect of a hostel, but you'd like to have some privacy, you might wanna go for a private room. It's understandable that some female travelers might be a little bit skeptical about staying in a mixed dorm, but in my experience, having that mixture really adds to the conversation and you might be looking at me saying, well, you're a guy, of course you're going to say that. Well, Katie has stayed in several mixed dorms, so let's throw it over to her for a female perspective on them. So when I first started to plan my first solo trip, Trey was the one to tell me that I needed to stay in mixed dorms, and I was 100% against it. As a woman, there are things that I have to think about that Trey doesn't. Yes, everyone should be concerned about safety, but we live in a world where women have to be extra careful. I wanted to stay in all female dorms no matter what. 
But after listening to Trey, I started seeing some of the benefits that he was talking about. It's cheaper, you meet some amazing people, and sometimes it can be more fun. So when booking my first hostel, I took the leap and I stayed in a mixed dorm. And I loved it. I met the coolest people. And above all, I never felt unsafe. The hostels I chose were clean, fun, well-run, and safe. There are tons of solo travelers, female and male. When you check into your hostel and you meet your new roommates, you share a bond. You're a part of this travel family. You're travel related. I absolutely recommend a large mixed dorm if your hostel offers it. Speaking of solo travel, we actually made a video about it and why you should do it. We'll link it up here. Go check it out. Another thing that's really important to me when it comes to booking a hostel is proximity. Meaning how far from the center of town is your hostel? It matters. You are going to be going out to see the town of wherever you are every single day. And if you're spending a lot of that time traveling to and from your hostel, it's not worth it. It also can add to the cost because you may be paying for a bus or an Uber or a train to get to town and that makes a difference. I'd say if you can swing it, find something under a mile so you can just go out and walk to wherever you wanna go and save time and money. You may find a great hostel for a great price and it has everything you want, but if it's really far from town, it's not worth it. A great thing about the Hostel World app is it shows you exactly how far from the center of town your hostel is, so it can help you make your decision. Another thing I love about hostels is when they offer free breakfast. This is a game changer. Not only are you saving money by buying one less meal, you also have the chance to meet a lot of people while you're eating. Normally if a hostel offers free breakfast, they have something like a cafeteria or a common room where everybody sits and eats before they start their day. So you've got this common area filled with travelers and it's a great chance to strike up a conversation and find out who someone is, where they're from, or what they've done around the city. It's really cool and I've made a lot of friends over a free breakfast. Pro tip, before you leave breakfast and start your day, stick a few things in your bag like fruit or bread, anything to keep you fueled throughout the day so you don't have to stop for food quite as much. I love saving money and taking advantage of a free breakfast is one way that I can do that. Another top priority for me, Wi-Fi. Make sure it's free and good. I have stayed in hostels with both good and bad Wi-Fi connections, and let me tell you, it makes a difference. One of my favorite parts of the day was getting back to my hostel and uploading pictures and telling everyone back home what I had seen or done that day. If you're staying somewhere with bad or no Wi-Fi, you don't get to upload pictures. You may not be able to tell your family that you made it somewhere safe. Wi-Fi is super important to me, and I would imagine most people. It's definitely something to keep in mind. And finally, reviews. Reviews are are so important to me and you can find thousands of them on the Hostel World app for each hostel. What are people saying? A lot of guests will give you the real talk and tell you what you really need to know that a hostel might not tell you. They could tell you if the staff is really friendly or if maybe it's not very clean or if there's a bad Wi-Fi connection. You will find all of the details of what you really need to know in the review section. So with everything that Trey and I have talked about in this video, you can go and read about all of them in the reviews. So to sum it all up, we love hostels because we know how much they can enhance our trips. Katie and I have some really cool stories to tell about things that only happened because we chose the right hostel for us. So today's travel related question is what's most important to you when it comes to choosing a place to stay? Is it the Wi-Fi or the security or the atmosphere? Let us know in the comments below. For more travel related content, go ahead and hit subscribe and give us the thumbs up. Trey and I are blood related. But we can all be travel related. See ya.